Murdoch. For more on the hearings, we're joined by Sarah Ellison, Vanity Fair contributing editor and author of War at the Wall Street Journal, Inside the Struggle to Control an American Business Empire. She previously worked for 10 years at the Wall Street Journal in Paris, in London, and New York. And as Rupert Murdoch took over the Wall Street Journal, well, she was an employee of his for at least a few weeks. But she chronicled everything that took place in that changeover of power. And we're going to talk about Rupert Murdoch and his American media empire. Welcome to Democracy Now!, Sarah Ellison. Thank you for having me. Before we talk about what happened at The Wall Street Journal, I want to go to these unprecedented hearings yesterday. Mm -hmm. Rupert Murdoch was clear, uh, almost monosyllabic at times, mm -hmm. saying, no, I am not responsible. Right. I think that that's uh, not an answer that you would learn in Leadership 101 if you were the head of an organization, no matter how big or small. I think that it's somewhat—it's even more difficult to really believe that when you know the way that his news organizations work. And I've spoken to a number of his editors who, were, who have worked for him over the years. He is on the phone with those editors on a daily basis, trading gossip. He wants to hear what the big stories are. His editors, there's this sort of myth that we all know about Rupert Murdoch, that he, that his editors know what he wants without him even having to tell them. And so he creates a culture in which everyone is of one like mind. And so I think that that might give him legal, plausible deniability in these sorts of hearings, because I think from a legal perspective, no matter how long it took him to answer the questions, no matter how confused he seemed at times, um, that's actually a time where being 80 and sort of forgetful came in very handy from a legal perspective, because he didn't actually have to admit to anything. But it's difficult to imagine not, not that, that some of the responsibility wouldn't lie at his feet, given that it is his organization, and the, up until this point, News Corp and Rupert Murdoch have sort of been one in the same.